Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com and I want to show you how to rank your pins in Pinterest. We all know that Pinterest can be a huge source of traffic because it's one of the rising stars in the social media world. A lot of people go there and they pin images and videos now to um, allow their followers to see them and one way to get a lot of traffic to your website, to your videos, things like that, is to pin it on Pinterest. But the thing is, unless you want just your followers to see them, you also want to rank them so that others can find your pins, pin them, repin them, and follow you, or even click through to your website. So the best ways to rank your pins is I'm going to give you a few tips on how to do that. All right. First of all, obviously having a lot of followers is a big key to it. The more followers you have, the more people will see you and your pins in their feed. Now, as you can see, I really don't have a lot of followers because I'm really not a Pinterest power user or anything like that. I haven't really given Pinterest a lot of attention until recently. and what I've noticed, for one thing, you can um, get followers it, by following others and um, them following you back. Okay, a lot of them will follow you back. Maybe 20%, 15% might follow you back, and of course, there's a lot of others that won't. So, one thing you can do is try that to just get your first few followers. I don't recommend you go around following a thousand people a day or anything that just looks spammy it doesn't look good on you um, you want to earn your followers the right way but at the same time it's ho it's so hard to do anything if you don't have any followers starting out so follow some people find you know pin a few pictures first put a good uh, profile picture of yourself and a little about you and um, make it to where people wouldn't be um, skeptical to follow you back just look like a good profile and have some pictures that might be uh, something they're interested in um, after you've gotten a few followers maybe a couple hundred at least um, focus on trying to rank your pens when you rank your pens you can get hundreds and hundreds of new followers maybe a week maybe even a day if you do it right so one way to do this is to do very specific board names so have keywords you want to target within Pinterest and go for very specific board names so um, instead of movies do the best entrepreneurship movies instead of you know home decor do uh, living room um, decor or home office ideas or or modern kitchen home decor or something like that for instance you can use for very specific types of pictures when people search that stuff on Pinterest yours will be at the top because it's very relevant to what you're look what they're looking for another thing you can do is use the picture you upload as with the actual um, keywords in the URL. Okay, so this one, for instance. As you can see, email marketing tips and tricks, uh, things like that, but it's actually in the website URL that it came from plus it's in the uh, you can't see it here but it's in the file name of the picture so that's two keys right there for ranking pins have the um, targeted keywords in your not and not only your board name but in your file name of your image when you upload it and things like that and in the website URL that you use for the source as you can see right here this is the website source okay 
um, and also you want to have it in the description email marketing tips and trips for beginners I have it in the description and I also wrote a, I also wrote a few sentences about it with a wink okay obviously you want this link to be the link you want them to go to to your website or if you have another place you'd like them to go maybe a capture page maybe a video have that as the target URL it doesn't have to actually come from there you can go there pin it and then come back and change this and then just save it so you can change the website even if it's not actually from that website and save it so that they click through to that website that you want okay you want to put other um, keywords in there as well but another thing you want to do is find things that work what you know these some of these don't have any shares some of these do some of these have likes some of these have comments some of these don't um, another thing you want to do to rank these is obviously the more repins the more likes the more comments the better it will rank as long as you have good keywords with that but you also have to get a lot of those maybe before you even have enough followers to really do that naturally okay so some of the ways you can get more shares for your pins one thing you wanna use um, Pinterest actual platform to your advantage okay so if I search for let's say um, stir fry recipes that's a popular thing right now notice how the top results are all vertically longer pictures than they are horizontally they're bigger pictures they don't they're um, obviously vertical that is how Pinterest ranks things they have it set up a certain way to where it's in columns pictures are in columns and they have them kind of vertically long and kind of skinny uh, pictures so use pictures like that when you're wanting to optimize for Pinterest another thing you need to do is to get more shares like this um, you want to use sites like empireavenue.com or you want to use um, viral content buzz or just retweet these are just three websites where you can get social media shares in exchange for uh, points and things like that where you basically exchange shares so you can share someone's stuff get points for that and then have other people share your pins this will get you some leverage in here even if you don't have a lot of followers yet but the higher you rank the more people will see your stuff if they like it they'll follow you they'll click through and they'll even share your stuff another thing you want to do um, when you're trying to do to actually build a following you want to have a um, website within your picture as you can see here in this very popular picture um, you can see the website here and you know some of these others will take advantage of that too looks like there's something on here like a website um, these people have some kind of label or some kind of branding here here's a website here they have a lot of things in common in the top uh, posts on Pinterest so you just gotta pay attention to little things like that so let's do a quick recap for a closed video but you need to use very specific board names with the keywords in it have the keywords in the description have keywords in the file name of the image have a long and skinny image like these that are vertically longer have your website or or your brand name in your image in the corner where it doesn't stand out too much but it's still there use sites like viral content buzz just retweet 
Empire Avenue, places like that to get more shares. And you can also follow people when you're just starting out to get your first few followers. Okay? So that's pretty much the basics on how to rank things in Pinterest. You're just going to have to work at it and um, have some good high quality images. Make them optimized for Pinterest platform. Use your keywords correctly. Look for uh, trending keywords as well. And just build up your following and stay with it, all right? And you'll do great. If you like the video, please uh, don't forget to like it, uh, subscribe, and I'll get you a lot more Pinterest marketing tips, social media, um, and other marketing and personal development type uh, things that, that can really help you take your business to the next level. And don't forget to leave a comment if you want to add another Pinterest uh, tip that I didn't mention here. Or you want to tell me what your favorite one was or share your experiences about Pinterest marketing. We'd love to hear from you. I also have other videos about Pinterest marketing if you want to check those out. And don't forget to visit us at selfmadesuccess.com where we have more free resources for you, a little more in-depth information if you want to take things to the next level from these videos. And um, maybe even contact me if you have a question for me or something like that. All right? So I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope you have a great day.